edged and gone. Carrying through to Jones. Jones has claimed the catch. De Villiers isn't going at the moment. Now he is. No swing for him from there. And that's uh, the rejuvenated Smith. Right on song. With a gorgeous extra cover to That's a way through extra cover for four more. It's lofted and it's gone straight down the throat of uh, Ian Bell, the substitute fielder out at uh, deep square leg. On a bottom hand here, he's uh, hit that pretty hard up to uh, deep mid wicket. Strauss does the fielding, but uh, Graham Smith happily through to 50. He's 51 not out now. That's gone. So another wicket for Kabir Ali. Oh, it's going to be close here. Well, they've run very well together for the bulk of this partnership. It's a full toss, and it's hit out of the ground. Now, it's six, don't worry about it. You can't bowl length if you don't get it quite right. That's what happens. Well, that's 50. Justin Kemp, well played. That's it. And Smith goes through to his second one day international 100. He's hit it. How well has he hit it? Just not well enough. Oh dear, oh dear. That's in the next county. Oh, that's clubbed away. That's another six. Now then, do you know where that one's gone? That's on the airstrip. I'll get that. Darren Goff. Well, that's all credit to the bowler. But what fantastic striking from that man in your picture. Justin Kemp. Well, there you go. Darren Goff. No chance for Mark Batcher. You have to feel sorry for him, don't you? Come out and follow that. Well, he did. Same stunt. That's a good delivery. We'll get to... Now, did he get back? Darren Goff thinks not. Out for me, let's see. It's a great throw, lousy piece of fielding, but a great throw, he brings a wicket. He laid the foundation for this innings. It's a good shot. Found the gap on the offside, that's four. It's 22 without loss. Edged out. Toscopic has uh, never looked uh, anything like comfortable out there this evening. That's the end of uh, Geraint Jones and real problems for England now. That's a better shot from Vaughan. This time he will make the boundary rope. 19 overs completed, it's 75 for two. <laughs> Big shout for LBW. Could be a run out, yeah. Ready, 
50 to Michael Vaughan. Peterson starts his effort to get these runs at 10 per over. Peterson's got hold of this. That's his second six. They've got him. Ashwell Prince takes the catch in that mid-wicket region. And uh, this should be his 50 if he wants to come quickly back for that second. So he does, and he's there in uh, no time at all, it seems. 50 from 38 deliveries, three fours, two sixes. Well, he's got the height and he's got the distance on that one. That's miles over the boundary. Straight down the ground. No, there's trouble here, yeah. trouble, and that is that. Oh, yeah. That's a good shout, and that's the decision that uh, Jack Callis wanted, that Mark Boucher wanted, that all of South Africa wanted. It's a big hit from Giles. Well, we're expecting the fireworks from Peterson. Well, Callis gets his revenge and he gets it quickly. He's all smiles now. Good strike, magnificent strike from Kabir Ali. Put down. Kabir Ali's got to run. He's run out though, so it's only a single. Peterson's on 94, one ball left. He's gone for it, it sails over the boundary for six, it's 100 for Kevin Peterson, but it's not enough to win the match. England, seven runs short, 304 for eight they finish. But it's South Africa who take an unassailable 3-1 lead to with two to play. Tough on Peterson, but another Smith century.